everyone to your full moon reading in Sagittarius. Okay, guys, this is considered the flower moon. So let's see what's going on over here. I've already pulled the cards for you. That way this, you know, reading won't be a million hours. Uh, the last ones have been kind of long. So getting straight into the situation, um, we do, do have the new moon in Gemini coming out first. Um, so it's talking about thinking it through. So this uh, full moon wants to definitely want you to start thinking things through at this time. Um, this is an ideal time to work with the magic within yourself. Um, this, guys, this full moon is in Sagittarius is super duper powerful for manifesting. Okay, it's a big portal. Um, okay, so definitely want to get your... Um, you want to get your manifestations out there. You want to get those prayers, desires, right? Get in there and get those. Um, it's also talking about letting go, letting go of things that no longer serve you so you can make space for the new things that you want to come in, right? For the next three, four or five months. Um, okay. So this is definitely talking about that, letting the magic happen, seeing the magic happen, knowing and believing, um, that the magic can happen. Um, so the affirmation for this card would actually be knowledge is powerful and I am powerful, right? So uh, this is definitely the time to want to manifest. Suggest that this card suggests that you need to do some inner work and trust your own intuition. Now it is time to work through what is it that I truly want? What am I expecting? Focus on your positive expectations. Expectations attract. If you're having doubts, talk to someone about maybe what's going on within a situation Right. Or meditate on the situation if you don't want others to know what you're manifesting, because others can be very doubtful and add a lot of negativity uh, to your dreams. So be careful who you're speaking with. Right. Um, it is time right now to make a list of your goals. And that's a good way to also work through them. Right. Write down those pros and cons. What is it I truly want? Is this something good for me? Do I have you know, the positive mindset enough to allow and to attract this? Can I raise the vibrations for that? Things of this nature, right? Depending on what it is you're looking for. But right now is a great time to uh, go ahead and work through anything that's holding you back. Um, unleash that kind of self for yourself. This is the first quarter moon in Capricorn. And um, let me see if I can put this up here so you guys can see it well, right? And this, this card here is talking about the best time to work your magic is, is now as well, right? Don't be too hard on yourself or anyone else, okay? Right now is the time to just, you know, not to be so strict with yourself, but you do want the challenge, right? Of course, we want the challenge. But the flower moon in Sagittarius is also saying, Remember, it's Jupiter energy. It wants you to manifest because that's, you know, that's the wish card. That's the, you know, will of fortune. That's the magician. That's where the magic is happening, right? Because that is the big wish card, right? So it says, so be kind to yourself and make sure that you are, right, giving all the self-love. Where manifestation happens, where magic happens, comes, what within ourselves when we are kindest to ourselves, being loving to ourselves. Okay, so if you're butting heads with others, just be careful of that. There might be some people who want to butt heads with you. Just let it go. Let it flow, right? Not everything is always what it seems, right? Okay, so it does. And then, of course, it's talking about that healing light. So once again, there's a lot of healing that needs to come through this. There's a lot of letting go so that you can open up, you know, um, and let new space in, right? Don't hold on to past things that no longer serve you. Uh, this card is talking about miraculous changes, right? And so this is talking about the loving spirits are ready to bring their healing energy to you at this time. If you have physical condition that you seek to remedy, meditate on the part of the body that in that is involved within the situation, right? So that way you can try to heal yourself if it's something that is light, right? I'm not talking about something huge, okay? I mean, I'm not going to, right, we're talking about I have an ache and pain here and it's more of an ache and a pain in my butt because, you know, why won't it go away, right? That type of thing. You can actually meditate on that and make it go away. I know that for a fact because it happened to my shoulder and I meditated and it is gone. Um, I'm also putting those in my new videos um, on my second channel. You guys can find that in the description box underneath the channel. 
where I am doing those guided meditations for manifesting on healing and detoxing and all those things. Okay. Just, it's going to give me a minute though, to be able to get everything in. <laughs> it's a lot of work, right? But yes, but go ahead and ask for guidance and healing and let yourself, you know, be willing to receive that type of energy. And yes, I am doing those guided meditations because I keep telling you guys to meditate and I keep getting these messages of, I don't know how, or I don't know where to begin, or I don't know what to do. So I'm adding them to my meditation channel. So it's not just music. Now it's going to be guided uh, meditations as well. Okay. To help you guys. Okay. So be sure to, you know, get in there, subscribe. Let's get those thousand subscribers in there and those 4,000 watch hours, you know, let's get that channel going. You know, if that's what you guys are interested in, I built that channel for subscribers for you guys. Um, just to help you out for these types of things. Okay, so let's go. Start gathering. We're talking about going back home into where we belong. You're going to have a lot of love. There's going to be a lot of relationships when it comes to this because Venus is going to be coming in at the same time as this full moon. So this full moon is actually going to be activating a lot of deep relationships, conversations. Um, it's going to want to... Maybe even bring back your ex, careful of that, especially when you have Pluto or retrograde at the same time. So it's kind of like, ooh, right, you guys might also, uh, you know, they might want to come in. There's going to be a lot of flirty behavior, right? A lot of flirty behavior. So, but it's also going to bring in soulmates, right? But now we have to say, is it good or is it bad? Well, guys, it's always neutral, right? It's always neutral. It's about how it's you're going to react, how you're going to do things. How you guys get along remember a lot of them are tests right okay right so is it a karmic that i need to learn a test from is it a, you know a good soulmate that we can be together but i always say at this time you know what let it let it go and just have fun and enjoy the moment right just enjoy the moment then you'll know what you know whether or not this is actually going somewhere or if it's just a fling and a flirtatious thing just for the moment right so over here we have the star uh, gate heart chakra so this stargate is the heart chakra opening so you might feel like you know what i do i feel like my heart is open i feel like you know um i want to there's going to be a lot of innovation for you guys as well not just on the love area but literally just the how about just the passion area right feeling like you remember home um you remember uh, your soul family, your soul tribe, but you're also unlocking a lot of generosity. You know, you might feel like there's a lot of people who want to give. and You might feel like you want to give. Um, so it's, you know, a very beautiful, it can be a very beautiful time. Um, but you're also going to feel this um, creative spark as well. And you guys may have already started feeling it um, where you feel more, like I said, innovative, more creative, right? More creativity coming through. Um, feeling like there's soul purposes that I want to get to, wanting to have the passion to pick up work, pick up the pace, get new things going, right? A lot of people are feeling that right now, feeling like, you know what, I got a new project and I want to do that and I feel like I really need to push my foot down on the accelerator and get going on that passion, right? And then some of you are looking for love and now is a great time to do so, okay? Especially we have this portal open. Um, and then you have the sacred temp, uh, temple over here, which is another spirit card. You guys got two spirit cards going on over here, which actually makes sense, right? It makes sense. It's like, this is what we need as a collective for the collect, you know, for the collective. It's like, this is what we need. This is your hall of records. This card unveils your ultimate place of power and inspiration. What I say, <laughs> the sacred temple is the seed of your soul and it'll always available to you as a source of peace, balance, and connection to spirit. You can access this wonderful place by meditating on your own heart center. Receiving this card upright is telling you it's time to do what you are feeling passionate about doing, right? You are at the point in your life and it is your personal power where you are able to open this holy vault and connect with unlimited information contained therein. When you connect with this powerful spirit source, you will find all of the the avenues of your life opening up with possibility. This card is telling you that it's time to be ready. So take time to enter the temple, meditate, trust, believe, 
and you'll be amazed at the important energy and information you will find there. And you really want to do that, you know, and when you're doing this during that full moon, right, when you're in a meditation mode, you definitely want to, you know, really open up these heart starts. I've got two meditations up. I've got one for sleep now, and I've also got one 15-minute one where it's just rest, relax, and get rid of anxiety. The other one is manifesting your desires, your dreams. So, you know, and me personally, just saying, I'm going to just tell you the truth. I like the sleep ones, and I'll tell you why. Yes, they're the bigger video, but I'll tell you why. Because it opens up that subconscious Right. And what is what are we doing when we're going to sleep? It's like so that's the last thing you're thinking about when you go to sleep. The other ones I think are really good for re resting, relaxing, getting rid of negative energy throughout the day. Take that 10, 15 minutes out, get rid of that energy and start again. But really sleeping, that's the last thing your mind is thinking about. It's thinking about what is it that I, you know, truly want as you're manifesting that. Right. So I definitely will have more, probably more sleep ones than I will have just, you know, resting ones. At this moment, anyways, that's the way I feel. Because we all know it's all about the subconscious, right? And the best way to hit this, the subconscious to the super conscious is go night-night. <laughs> we all know it, right? If you know anything about meditation and manifesting, that's it. So, but, uh, <clears throat> but definitely, definitely. Okay, so let's see. Oh, my friends. It says you are safe now. It is safe to relax. We're using the manifestation cards over here, right? It is safe to relax. You've been through a major ordeal and you've been amazing. You've handled it all. But as a consequence, you've learned to live on high alert. This needs to change. Your mind needs peace and your body needs to relax and repair. This card brings a message. You are safe now. It's okay to relax. And that's what, you know, and this one I'm definitely going to put over here with the think it through because that's where the healing light is coming in. And leash that kindest self. The kindest thing you can do to yourself is relax. Stressing yourself out and holding on to yesterday's pains and aches and pains and stuff. Number one, it doesn't bring in tomorrow's manifestations the way we want it to. Number two, it makes us feel like shit, right? Because we're always thinking about what if or how things negatively could go wrong. Let's not worry about that, right? Let's just relax and say, you know what? But what if it could all be so good? Overthinking the situation because you've got red flags all over everything you touch because there's, in life, so many things that we touch that we want to be gold that look gold and they turn out to be bronze or just a fake ass rock, right? Fool's gold, <laughs> right? So it's time. The Spirit says it's time for giving and receiving and not only, you know, to others. We're talking about giving back to yourself, right? Giving back to yourself. So give and take is a difference from giving and receiving. Take and receiving are not the same. When we take, whoever we take from may or may not have chosen to give. However, when we receive, choice and respect are integral part of the exchange. Let go of any need to take and embrace the harmony of giving and receiving. your hands out, palms up, and time to receive the energies and the love and the rewards from the universe, especially right now, right? And I love that because we have the one, which is for the new beginnings, eight for manifestation, bringing in the nine, closure to the old so that we can bring in the new beginnings with one. See, I mean, it's, it's all right there. So let's go over here to this Stargate. I'm loving this reading. This is beautiful. Love it. This new moon, or this full moon, excuse me. I've been doing that all month. <laughs> I've been doing that all month. Keep calling it the new moon when it's the full moon. Like how many new moons we got? Okay, so this full moon. Stay on course. You're ready for this beautiful change and transformation with the sacred temple. 
opening up that heart chakra, allowing your soul family to come through, allowing yourself to feel like you are at home where you need, where your soul feels like it is at home. I mean, it wants you to understand that you are facing some big stuff in your life right now. This card is a request that you keep going and stay on course. However challenging this may feel, please be assured that right now, this is the appropriate way forward. The universe supports your direction and slow and steady progress is assured, which is crazy because, you know, it's always like, well, that's, you know, it's, it is crazy, right? It is kind of crazy because what did I say? I said, just be flirty, just live in the present, just, you know, allow things to come together. If it's not worth it, you will know right away, right? But don't red flag everything or take, you know, you see what I'm saying? Because if you red flag everything, then you're not going to know exactly what's to come for you. Right? So, anything else? Ooh, collaborate. Sometimes we are called to develop our self sufficiency, and this can be a valuable road to travel in the discovery of our unique and individual gifts. But this is not the same as trying to do everything ourselves all the time. This is not time to go it alone. It is time to unite and work with others. And what did I say? We're going to have a lot of soul partners, a lot of friends, a lot of communication, a lot of relationships going on at this time. So just remember, right, don't just halt everything, right? It is safe. You are safe, right? And of course, if it has too many red flags, I mean, yeah, run for your freaking life, right? I mean, come on. <laughs> We're not, you know what I mean? Like, whoa, hold on. Right. Yeah. You don't want gossip and drama. Yes. Thank you. I mean, run for the hills. Right. But if you, you know, but if you're not sure exactly which direction, like, is this, you know, the grass green here or is it just going to be all dirt? Maybe it, it's going to take me a minute to actually figure that out, you know, but, you know, just enjoy it. But yeah, if it's something that's going to be super negative, guys, you know, I mean, use your discernment, use your, you know, don't just, you know, go with that. Right. Just make sure that when in uncertainty, thank you, spirit. Oh, my gosh. That is so needed right now. When you're in uncertainty, yes, um, go ahead and calm the noise within your mind. Get still and meditate on the situation. This is where you'll find that discernment. Like I said, if you really feel like you need to run for the hills, guys, you know exactly what you're supposed to do. I'm just saying if you're going to red flag every, you know, every passionate thing that you're looking for, whether it's a person or an idea or, you know, and too much doubt and too much insecurities about the situation, Make sure that you bless your past and move past that so that you can have the better, you know, the better tomorrow, right? Don't allow yesterday's wrongs, you know, and upsets, you know, and upsets to continue during this time. This full moon doesn't want you to do that. This full moon wants you to manifest. This thing is a beast of a manifester. This thing wants you to say, hey, this is what I'm going after. This is what I truly want. But it wants that certainty from you. Do you understand what I'm saying? It wants that certainty when it comes to meditation. When you're running into other people and stuff like that, you know, that's that flirtatious. It's, you know, it's just, those are the energies that are going to bring out in people. But I'm, but when you're really talking about manifesting, make sure that you are contributing all of your heart and soul to the situation. Have no uncertainties about the situation. Get rid of, get rid of all doubts and fears. Because I'm going to tell you right now, it's better to have manifested and believed than never to have done so before. Because even if it doesn't come in, what if it would have? Yeah, think about that for a second. What if it would have? What if it would have and you would have missed that chance and that opportunity? I always say it's better to go after something and not have it come through than to know that I missed that opportunity. Because sooner or later, you're going to know you missed that opportunity. You never know exactly how you know, but you always know. Something always comes up to let you know, whether it's months later, years later. You will always know. It could be in a dream. You might die, and then God will be like, well, I was going to set you up with the perfect soulmate, but, you know, you didn't want to believe, and you'd be like, damn it! <laughs> you know, I mean, seriously, that's... For me, that's just how it is. I just always feel like I would rather be like, okay, well, I gave everything and it never came through. So I guess it wasn't good for me than just say, oh my God, what if I miss that? You know, but you would never, you know, but you will, 
And they always say, well, you'll never know. You know what? That's not true. Because for some reason, five, ten months, years later, you realize, you know what? I missed that opportunity. I totally know I do. It's just something in you just knows, right? Something just knows. Okay, my friends, you know what you're doing. You guys got this, okay? You keep going strong and until the next video. Peace and love. Bye-bye.